Hi right, folks, we're going to take a look at 143, number 17, and the only one you actually had to do was uh, 17A. Okay, so they give us uh, this scenario where we're creating an open talk box from a piece of cardboard uh, that's rectangular, and we do that by uh, cutting off squares from the corners. Okay, the reason why this gives us an open top box is if I cut these off, this here, what I'm about to draw, becomes the base of the box, and I'm folding over these flaps. These four flaps get folded over, and I end up with an open top box, okay? These squares have been cut away. And what they want us to do is express the volume of the box as a function of this uh, X. So I can cut off different sized squares to create different sized boxes. All right, so in order to determine the volume of a rectangular prism, of course, it's length times width times height. So we just have to identify expressions for the length, width, and height. So I would say the easiest one would be the height, because here it's just going to be this length x, which gets folded up. Okay, so the height is just equal to the variable x. Um, so now this, we said, was going to be the base of our box. So we've got the length. And let's see if we can figure out the length. And we realize, well, the whole length of this cardboard is 40. And what I'm doing is I'm lifting up x on each side. So what I'm left with is 40 minus 2x. And then for the width, which will be here, it's very similar because I've got the total length of 32 centimeters and I'm lifting up on either side uh, those tabs of x centimeters each. So my width is just going to be 32 minus 2x. All right, and now I've got enough information to write my model for the volume of this box. Uh, so again, length times width times height. I can multiply these in any order. So I'm going to choose to start with the height, which is x. Okay, then I'll go to my length, which we said was 40 minus 2x. And then we've got our width, which is just 32 minus 2x. Okay, so once I have the model now, what I can do is input a volume that's given to me and figure out how much I need to cut off uh, on each corner to obtain that particular volume. Now, one thing to keep in mind, in this case here, there isn't an actual uh, problem to calculate, but keep in mind that if you solve this equation, make sure the any x values that you obtain are reasonable. So for example, if any of them are negative, you know you'd be eliminating them because you can't have a negative height. And if any x value makes either of these dimensions negative, you also need to eliminate those. Okay, in fact, you should be able to figure out what the maximum x value is. I'll leave that for later because this type of problem is going to uh, become very important to us in the next course. Okay, that's it for this one.